Good morning. Earlier this week, your staff met and began to ask the question, how can we remain connected to the congregation during this time? The one most positive suggestion that was given is, is that your pastoral staff, Greg and I, will come to you twice each week, Tuesday and Thursday, in a v brief video blog that will be posted on Facebook and on the website so that we may connect with you in a meaningful way. Also, on Tuesday evening, your governing board, the session met via a telephone conference and made several important decisions. I want to share two of those decisions with you now. The first decision is that we want to care for the members of our congregation who are experiencing financial distress because of this virus. There are members of our congregation who've had their hours decreased, and so therefore their wages have gone down, and there are some who've lost their jobs. And we want to care for those members. So what we are going to do is organize the deacons of our church to contact every member of our congregation within the next 10 days. And then we will be assessing the needs of our congregational members, and all of those needs will be then given to the missional committee of our church so that we can determine to what, to, to what degree we can address those needs financially and other means. We are starting at the initiative of the session a member support fund. If you have the capacity to provide additional giving to the church, designate that member support fund so that we have financial resources available to us to meet the financial pressing needs of our congregation. The second decision that was made that is very important is, is that we understood as the leaders of the church that a congregation that does not participate in the community in which we are located in giving to those charitable organizations that support the homeless, the hungry, those who need medical care and other services. If we do not support those agencies, we cease to be the embodiment of the risen Christ. And so therefore, we are not cutting back on any of our benevolent giving. You may be aware that we give nearly $100,000 a year away to support community agencies here around our church. We are experiencing a financial shortfall as to be expected because of this virus, but we are not going to cut back on the support of these agencies. They are doing vital ministries, and we want to be a partner with them. There, is many more, there are many more decisions that we have made, and uh, we'll be communicating those decisions to be a special Spire edition that will be coming out in the next week or so. But again, I want to share with you that we are wanting to care for the members of our church. If you have a need of any kind, please contact your church. Otherwise, a deacon will be contacting you. And the most important thing is that you stay close to Jesus Christ. I will be preaching this Sunday morning in God's grip. One of my texts will be from Philippians, where Paul says that whenever he experiences distress or hardship of any kind, he leans deeply into the strength of God that sustains him. So I'm going to ask that you be very proactive in maintaining your devotional life each day through this crisis. Read the scriptures. Read a healthy devotional that will be helpful to you. And always ask two questions. What would you have me hear, O oh God? And then secondly, what would you have me do, O oh God? Remain strong in the strength of God during this period. Remain kind and understanding to one another. Guard your discipline. It is easy for us to become impatient. It is easy for us to become angry. Guard your discourse with one another and mark it with the kindness of Jesus Christ. Again, Greg will be coming to you on Tuesday in another video blog, and you will hear from both of us this Sunday morning in worship. And God's blessing be upon every one of you this day.